pag-uusapan natin tungkol sa abiotic components of the ecosystem. Perfect. The basic features of an ecosystem is determined by its abiotic components. Ano ang ibig sabihin ng abiotic? Abiotic means the non-living component o yung mga walang buhay kung saan ay may kahalagahan sa isang ecosystem. Sa isang terrestrial ecosystem, meron tayong three major factors namely climate, soil, and topography. Simulan natin sa climate. Underneath ay meron tayong climatic factors na mayroong significant effects sa isang ecosystem. These factors are light, temperature, water, and wind. Many aspects of light affect living organism. Halimbawa sa plants, for instance, Mas mabilis ang rate of photosynthesis sa mga plants which are exposed under the light compared sa mga plants naman na hindi naaarawan. Habang ang leaf fall naman ay influenced by day length and likewise malaki din ang effect ng day length sa mga animal behaviors katulad ng nesting, migration, and hibernation. Another factor under climate is temperature. Many organisms require a specific temperature for efficient metabolism. Tulad nito, malaki rin ang influence ng temperatura sa rate of evaporation na kung saan it affects water availability sa isang area o lugar. Perfect. Another climatic factor is wind. Wind action accelerates evaporation. And since evaporation making with one as another factors because Evaporation also determines the atmospheric humidity o kung anong type o klase ng weather magkakaroon ang isang area o lugar. At ang huling sub-factor under climate is water. Alam naman natin na we are 75% water. And water is an important medium of life. Sa totoo lang, the amount of rainfall determines the type of vegetation in a specific area. Halimbawa nito, kapag mas maraming tubig, mas mabilis ang paglaki ng isang halaman. At dahil may constant rainfall ang isang tropical forest, They are lashed with big trees or plants and other organisms. Let's proceed to our second factor, which is the soil. Perfect. Factors pertaining to soil are also called edaphic factors. They include minerals, which determine the vegetation type and distribution of plants. And animals in an area. Moisture which affect the water holding capacity of soil. And acidity which influence solubility at ang availability ng mga mahalagang inorganic substances. Ang pinakahuling factor ay ang topography. Ang topography ay tinatawag ding surface relief. It determines ang mga communities na makikita sa isang ecosystem. Nagkakaroon ng pagkakaiba-iba ng topography 
mainly because of these three factors, namely altitude, angle of slope, and orientation. For example, sa mga mossy forest na makikita sa mga matataas na lugar o sa mga high altitude places, we can see cloud rats. And this organism cannot be seen in the field area o sa mga mas mababang lugar. In terms of the orientation of the slope naman, the side of the mountain facing the sunlight ay makikita natin kung saan richer siya ng plants and trees compared sa side na kung saan hindi masyadong nasisinagan ng araw. Bago tayo magtapos sa ating talakayan ngayong araw, magkakaroon muna tayo ng mabilisang recap tungkol sa abiotic components of the ecosystem including climate, light, temperature, water, and wind. We also discuss about soil and topography. Perfect. At dyan, nagtatapos ang ating talakayan ngayong araw. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, pahit ang subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell button para lagi kang updated sa mga sumusunod kong videos. At ang video na ito ay libreng i-share sa mga kakilala mo at maging sa mga classmate mong grade 7 ngayon.